Sons of Rohan, my brothers. Today we are going to play Rohan against Seven Heart Isengards on a beautiful map, Old Brown Lands, in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22, which is improving the Heart Army quite a lot. They have now more command points, more money. They will level up faster and their units will also deal more damage while also being more tanky. And you remember the time when Saruman was asking Theodin, can we not have peace? And he was like, no. And that's the proof, boys. Rohan is gonna attack not only one, but seven hard Isengards at the very same time. Hopefully, we will make the Rhythm Arc proud. And if you have any other challenges for me, let me know in the comment section down below. So let's open with two farms. And also, I don't want to give them draft actually, because I don't want to use them early on to creep. We will need Meriorok Brandybok. And yeah, I mean, I was playing already a couple of them uh, on this new patch. And trust me, it's just way, way harder and much more challenging. Find any weapon you can master. All right, so we won't recruit any peasants you know, for the entire game. Pretty much they are only good at the beginning of the game. But, you know, early game stage is something different in a 1v7 game because you can jump right into the mid to late game as you get more money the more players are involved in a, in the gameplay so in a 1v1 situation you will get much less money oh my goodness the isengard army approaches so early on i might actually save up for legolas eventually so he's creeping i'm actually pretty tempted to sell those units where is the second one did he already die I had two of them, right? Oh, no, 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 no. He's attacking me. Okay, we, we need to fight this. I cannot let them actually inside. inside. And look at this unlucky situation. Now the goblins are attacking my farm too. Plus the Uruks are going to get level 2 now. Holy quackamole. Not the best start into the game, guys. Let me tell you that much. Uh, we might also skip Legolas because I believe he will need some sort of units on the field early on. Maybe Elma could be a nice choice because Elma will have the outlaw leadership, which means money, money, money every time we kill enemy units. And the good thing about this kind of games is in a 1v7 situation, you will endless, you will kill endless amount of units. Like from the beginning of the game until the very late game, you will kill thousands and thousands and thousands of units. And look at the pressure. He was already creeping with the Uruks. Uh, my peasants are goners and the farms are gonna be taken down one by one and oh my goodness man it doesn't look really good for us the pressure is real we could obviously build some battle towers but i guess it's going to be kind of waste of money and we will need something to fight other than only to defend ourselves you know and elma is a great choice um however he won't be of course enough to do anything alone he will need some sort of reinforcements like rohirrim rohir marches but we cannot afford that right now. We have no money. So Hobbit is cloaked around this side. That's the only good thing about the situation. We can then save up for the king himself, Theodin. And hopefully we will be able to get both of these heroes from Rohan, Elma. But also Theodin to level 4 for the glorious charge. But also for the horse lord leadership. I mean, remember in Battle for Middle of 1, leadership is stacking. It means the more leadership you have, the stronger your units are going to become. And until Isengard comes with like siege weapons, I believe we should be in a kind of good spot. Oh yeah, boys. Look at that. What is this? What is this fiesta? Oh my goodness, man. Okay, we need a stable, but we also need a well. Like, I am telling you guys. We will need some sort of su sort of sustain. We can pick up the heal from the spellbook for now. I'm very scared of moving out with my heroes yet without any backup plan. Look at the war chant. Like we see purple, yellow, literally white, the white right hand, you know. Crossbowman, Uruks, Lourdes is also here. Look what Lourdes is doing. He's running. A, like, look at this. <laughs> what are they doing? They are actually trying. Hey, there is no secret entrance, Lourdes. Chill, please. I'm very scared also to move out with my heroes now because Lourdes might get a chance to cripple them. And oh my goodness, man, what is this? The army of Isengard approaches. It feels like in Helm's Deep, but much, much worse. Because in Helm's Deep, you actually had a wall with archers and you have like more money to defend yourself. But in a castle now with no outside settlements, we will have not the greatest resource income because Rohan is the one faction with only seven spots in the base in total, while Isengard and Mordor have eight and Gondor has even nine. 
So long story short, Rohan is heavily relying on the resource income from the outside settlements and also from Elma level 3 outlaw leadership. Okay, we will need to wait for the second one. I'm really scared, boys. I'm really, really, really scared. Let's build a post and gate here. I don't want to build it right here or here because there are just too many units and I just want to go for a small trample, you know, and peel back. Go for a trample and peel back. That's the plan. Legolas could be a nice choice, yeah, because he would be able to level up like crazy in a situation like that, but he's also extremely expensive, like 2,700 for the for the hero from the Mirkwood Elves, and for the same price, you can recruit actually Theorin and Elma at the same time, and you will have even more left. So stable level 2, we have two Rohirrim, let's try something, you know, let's try something out, I guess. Okay, let's trample them. Hopefully, we will be able to get a great amount of experience. Level 2, that's good. They are coming, boys. To the defenses. Yeah, very true. Now, let's build a second post on Git. And let's kind of play with them, Tom and Jerry, you know. We will go out from one side, make them make the Moss army to move to this area. And then we can use the second pathway and use to get away from this situation i mean this is looking pretty good now we can go for another trample as long as there are no siege weapons we should be in a kind of good spot and uh, elma needs to be staying close to the units this way he can share experience and get eventually level 3 a bit faster our heroes are extremely important but so are the units and lurz is coming so we gotta bail to the castle okay let's get the shields first and then we will also need the armory Remember, quality goes over quantity, especially in battle for Middle-earth. What are you doing, Rohirrim? Don't die! I healed them. Oh, I healed them and they still died. What were they doing in the first place? Now we have the battle formation. Oh my goodness, man, this is crazy and it's scary. Okay, we have now two power points collected. Can we do something with that? Yeah, we can go for the Elven Wood. Oh, Mary has been taken down. Holy moly, what is this army? You see that? We have now two Lourdes in the on the right the side i believe like ready. also one in the front yeah one in the front so three lords many many berserkers are coming we have now the shields which is going to make them a bit more tanky against arrows but the main strength are the uruks and hopefully no pikemen anytime soon he has used the warchan let's use the elven wood level three that's good that's very important that means we get money now we have no heal so bail 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 bail, bail. i don't want to lose the heroes we have level 4, that's good. That's really, really good because now we have the Glorious Charge unlocked. But, um, you know, you want to use it when you are not slowed down. When you when you are slowed down and you use it, it won't negate the slow you have already on your units. If this makes sense for you guys. Okay, now we also, unfortunately, have to demolish one of the farms. It is how it is. Because we will need the Armory, boys. That's very important. Oh, I saw Saruman fireballing and multiple Sarumans coming. Now we gotta we gotta repair the gate. Otherwise, they will repeat this all the time and eventually take down the gate. And if they get inside with such a force, they are doomed. Hey, where was Gondor when old Brownlands fell? That's what I'm asking myself right now. So let's get one more Rohirrim. The more, the better. And later on, we will also need to make the transition into the archer uh, into the archer range to be able to get the fire arrow purchase for the Rohirrim archers. I personally. Look at them, look at them, guys. We want to go fight. But luckily, we have the battle stances, right? And with the battle stances, we can control the action of the heroes. This way they want our units. This way we can order them and tell them, hey, without me telling you anything, you are not supposed to do anything. Armor first, bleeds, and then also the banner. Okay, now we have a great army, kind of. We have four Rohirrim with shields, and we have Glorious Charge. Now it's time to collect some money, I believe, right? I think even without the heavy armor, we can maybe make something happen. Let's get out from this post and gate this time. And I want to trample all of these units. So let's use Glorious Charge. And let's run it down. Run it down, run it down. Look the money now at the bottom left side of your screen, boys. We should be growing rich at this point. As we are killing countless amount of units, our heroes are also leveling up. Like crazy power points are rising to the sky. And we will need that later on to be able to defend the castle. Okay, let's go back. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, I cannot afford to lose any of these heroes. It will just slow down the gameplay quite a lot because I heavily rely on both of them at the same time. Obviously, Theodin for the Glorious Charge and Leadership and also Elma for the Outlaw and also Leadership. 
Now we have heavy armor purchased, shields, that's good. I'm pretty tempted to actually recruit Gimli. And now you might be asking yourself, but why Gimli? Because he's beefy, you know, I can use him like a human shield or dwarven shield in the front line and make him absorb all the damage. And once he's level 5, the Slayer will give him the chance to hunt all these Sarumans in Lourdes and eventually kill them all one by one. With Slayer, Gimli is gonna become a super Gimli and he will be able to catch every single hero on foot. So, and what I have in my mind is something great, I hope. So, I wanna give him the number 2. I wanna get him out first, right? And I want to trample the units when Gimli is nearby. This way, Gimli can also share experience. Let's see if this can work out for us. Does Glorious Charge? No, it's not available yet. Oh, there is Arma level 2 is unlocked. That is just too much now at this point. We need to bail. Uh, we have heal for the worst case scenario. And we also have almost 7 power points. We have now end allies. Let's pick up the end allies. We might need to use them. Um, you know, to, to be able to kill the ballistas later on or any other siege weapon. But for now, we should, we should be in a good spot. Let's build the archer range and let's recruit one more Rohirrim in the meantime. Okay, do we have Glorious Charge now? Yes, sir. We have Glorious Charge indeed. So, hold on a second. Let's go now. We gotta kill this. Oh, there, it comes, there comes the first Ballista. That's what I'm talking about. Let's call the ends if we can. Gimli. Come, my friends. The ends are going to war. Oh, fireball. Okay. Okay, Gimli level 4. That's dope. Jump. Always keep an eye on your heroes, that's very important. Can they can they please kill this? We gotta kill this. Does he have also a ramp? No. Let's build. We have level 5 now with Gimli. Let's use Slayer because I've seen Saruman somewhere there. And let's kill Lords first, Gimli. Let's give them all the upgrades and also recruit now two of the Yeoman Archers to get this, um, the Archer range level 2. Gimli, please, do something against the Lords. Okay, the Lords here is level 3. Okay, now bail Gimli, because the Slayer should be off very, very soon. And we killed the Siege Weapons. And we have 10 power points collected already. That means we have army after that. That's great. It's very, very good. Okay, we have a huge army now of Rohirrim. One of them is even level 10. The other one is level 8, level 9. So we have every one of them is pretty much highly leveled. Uh, can you please just trample them? Look, the power points are rising to the sky, boys. So we will need, unfortunately, now this draft because I would like to get the Anduri Sword later on for the Aragorn, who I want to recruit now. Aragorn will give us a chance to also eventually get more leadership, and also, you know, when he's level 10, he will be able to summon one battalion of the Offbreakers, the Army of the Red, which obviously... Oh, here's an explosive mine. A mine! A mine! We've improved the archery range. We improved the archery range. Now, we, are, we can put these, obviously, on top of the wall, but they won't last for a while. That means we can now just send them inside the Citadel and sell them and get actually some money in return, you know? That's the plan. Okay, Aragorn is here. Uh, we need to repair this gate. But Aragorn without Anduril Sword is going to be quite vulnerable. Looks like they are backing off a little bit. That's good for us. We see more and more explosive mines coming. And Aragorn and Gimli, the two hunters, are gonna be in the same group. So we gotta, we gotta fight for this. Once the fire is purchased, we can demolish the archer range. Hold on. Where are you, where are you, Theorin? Oh. Don't die. Okay, we, we, used to, we had to use the heal. What are we waiting for? More of these ballistas are coming. They're gonna be quite painful to deal with. And also, please kill this ram. Kill this ram before he actually reaches out to the gate and damages the gate. The power points are rising. Do you see how many berserkers are coming? We killed that. That's dope. I don't know where the explosive mine is. We gotta find and take it down. Oh my goodness, boys. Do you see that? There are three explosive mines right in front of the gate. Uh, are you free yet? Yes, you are free yet. Luckily, we were able... Hey, kill this, Gimli, kill this. Gimli, Gimli, don't! Oh. There is always hope. Do we have enough now for Anduri? Yes, we do. And even for the cloud, we have every power point unlocked now from the spellbook. Please destroy these things. Oh, I was scared for a second. He was actually using Fireball. Aragorn, you gotta kill this. 
Gimli, can you actually jump back on top of the wall? He's trying to steal Gimli, but that's not possible. You can only steal units. And that's the nightmare, boys. That's the nightmare. Look, Gimli is jumping from the ground on top of the wall. That's dope. Kill the Balisa and get out. Get out, Aragorn. I need you. You see more Balisas coming from the right side. But it's fine. Because now we can rotate also with the army and take them down. Aragorn should be able to get away. No problemo. Fire arrows purchased. So now we can make the transition into the Rohirrim archers. Glorious charges on cooldown. Uh, Elma, can you do me a favor and destroy this, please? Oh, the, the siege begins, right? Okay. Theodin, don't die. Glorious charge, boys. Now for Rav. Now for Ruin. What are we waiting for? More ballistas. It's the, it's the nightmare of every Rohan player to deal with this many siege weapons at the same time. But it is how it is. We have obviously seven opponents. It's pretty normal. Aragorn, you kill these heroes. Gimli, you use Slayer. Men of the Riddermark. The wall is free. Oh no, actually the event inside. Oh, they broke the wall. Stand your ground. I stand. Prepare for battle. I stand. Destruct them. Well, I catch my breath. I mean, I hate to use it, but it is how it is, guys. I gotta use it, I believe. We also need to repair the gate ASAP more. I mean, that is... Okay, that makes sense. Like, there are multiple ballistas from every single side, you know, eventually. We need to stall until we have enough time to rebuild everything we need. Let's kill the ladders, the siege ladders. It's repairing or not? I don't think so, right? I don't know if, I don't know if it's repairing. It's re repairing now, sorry. Um, kind of intense game. Let's build a farm and we can also now finally start building some towers because our eco this time is looking a bit better. We have now also a couple of Rohirrim archers. That's good. You guys are group number three and you guys are going to be group number two, the Rohirrim archers. They will be useful when it comes to actually kill the pikemen, for example. But for now, they don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Automatize yourself. Hey, hey, hey. Don't lose everything to the pikemen. Okay, our heroes should be able to take care of these. No problemo. Uh, hold ground stands, please. Don't shoot anything. I'm scared that they will shoot automatically the explosive mine and it will be over for us. More coming from the other side. More coming from the other side. Holy guacamole. Let's summon the ants. Gimli is kind of present. Can we use Atelas to heal him up? The answer is yes. Let's use Slayer. Do we have Glorious Charge? Yes, yes, sir. We have Glorious Charge indeed. Uh, let's use it and write it down before the Ballistas are going to kill our heroes. Ballistas are very dangerous. You know, any siege weapon is pretty much very, very dangerous. We got to split them up a little bit and take down every single one of these. If Aragorn is level 10, he's going to be a one-man army. And Gimli is already a one-man army, you know? So let's bail. Oh, he, he destroyed his stable. Level 3, that hurts. That really hurts a lot. Okay, more, more of them. Please destroy all of the ballistas. Oh, more coming. Oh, the spam is crazy, dude. The spam is really crazy. All right, guys, the plan is simple. I think now we got to make a move. Now we have to destroy one of the Isengards to be able to get a second castle and eliminate one of the opponents. That means we have only six more of them to deal with and not seven. So you guys are number two. I love the new battle stands. They're not shooting anymore automatically. That's very good. Okay, now let's ride out. Aragorn, don't die. Aragorn, please don't die. Let's use Cloud Break now. Um... Saruman gives them fear resistance. Glorious charge is on cooldown. We gotta kill these ballistas first before anything else. They're actually trying to destroy all the structures inside the castle from outside. Don't steal my horses. Okay, we need more Rohirrim archers, but we are command points kept. Let's kill the Saruman first before anything else. Let's call the ants. The ants are going to war. But don't attack. Don't attack the explosive mine, please. Look at the spam, dude. That's crazy annoying. Gimli, be careful. Aragorn, be also careful. 
okay. I mean, let, let them pass, that's good. And that's okay, I mean, not good, but it's just, it is how it is. Okay, let's build back. <laughs> let's build back. We have also now the Elven Allies summon, that's good. Uh, that's the last summon. They've lost actually a lot of units, but as long as we can keep the heroes protected, we should be in a good spot. Okay, we are just taking care of the siege weapons. That's all I, I mean, all, the siege works rather. That's all I really want. Um... I wish I could do the same situation also here. Gimli, you Slayer and move on. That is one hiding behind our towers. Are I gonna kill all these explosive mines before they can do anything? Use your bleed master and take care of these ballistas. And more will come. Did we actually kill it? Yeah, we killed it. We killed it. That's good. EOD summon is still on cooldown. Aragon can take care of loots, no problem. He's nearly level 10. Okay. Oh my goodness, man. I, mean, I like that the Rohir Marks are not att attacking, you know, that's very important because if they attack these explosive mines, we will just hurt ourselves more. Aragon, don't die. I need to double heal him. Let's get this farm. I don't know. Maybe we should be going for the end moods. Maybe. Uh, yeah, actually, that sounds like a good plan. End moods are going to be also annoying for the, for the opponent. However, I don't want to feed him too much because he might get the chance to summon the Balrog. Okay, oh, yes. Okay, that's the time now for the uh, seeds. It will be useless now, you know. All the power points, uh, all the leadership bonuses we got are getting currently completely negated. Okay, write it down. Yeah, the sun rises. I have an idea. Well, I want to attack this with the Rohirrim oh, Just Watch this. Boom. Okay, we attack this too. Kill this, please. We cannot recruit any more units. Aragorn! Aragorn, you use hold ground stands and stay here, please. I don't want to lose you. I need you. Fiesta. Let's use AOD here. Aragorn is should be fine, right? Oh, they are still shooting at Aragorn. If you lose all the Rohirrim actually in the front line, that's painful, man. Just kill Saruman. I think we need to go back for now. We need to go back for now. Look, he doesn't, he doesn't attack because he's in all ground stands. And the Berserker actually managed to get inside and destroy it. Oh man. Gimli! Oh, the spam of the siege weapon is so annoying. So annoying. Are they all in all ground stands? Yes, sir. That's good. Legolas can be put maybe on top of the wall, even though that's very dangerous. The switch weapons are also going to be able to snipe him down. We will also need now normal Rohirrim. Did we kill the Citadel at least? Let me check. Um, nope, we couldn't do that. We didn't even kill anything like the second siege works. Aragorn has to be revived. Luckily, our money is looking good. It means we can replace the units we are losing, but that's the only good thing about this situation, really. Um, the, the pressure is crazy. Like, the amount of pressure we have on us, that's something else. And you need to be careful every single second, too. If you don't pay attention for a single second and you actually attack accidentally this explosive mine, it will hurt you so much. You might lose all your army to that. Okay, you guys move out. Let's switch to the aggressive stance. Oh my goodness. Gimli, you need to take care of this, my friend. I, I trust you. Legolas, don't die. Legolas, you move to this... The second I say that, Legolas dies, of course. I hope that Gimli, care, Gimli take care of, takes care of that. I really do. Let's use Cloudbreak to stun them. And there we go. Glorious charge. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We just killed all our all, all our own units. We need to kill the Orphank. Are we good in the base? I don't know. Doesn't look like it. But Aragorn is outside and fighting. This can also be done by Gimli. Kill the siege wars, please. 
Oh my goodness, the, the Balista spam is crazy, man. We have lost all the units we got. Let's spam more Rohirima, I guess. Maybe we don't need this many Rohirima just because I'm afraid that they might actually mess us up big time, you know? It's going down slowly but surely. The Glorious charge is on cooldown. He's using Carnage to kill the ants. And looks like the ants are going down. Okay, never mind. The Orphan has been taken down. It's good. Rohirrim Archers might get the chance to take care of this Lord eventually. Run, run, Gimli. Run, 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 run. Gimli, you come to the, to the well, please, and heal up. I mean, we won't be able to finish him off this time, trust me. Let's summon the army of the dead from Aragorn and take care of these ballistas. Okay, we gotta bail. Don't, don't attack. Kill this, please. Oh, he was almost sneaking one of the explosive mines into our army. Aragorn got crippled down, but it's okay, we can heal him. Kill and back, 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 back. Oof, guys. <laughs> and please let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think it's still the same? You know, I don't think it's the same, dude. It's like very, very different. And, you know, it, it's really painful to lose now all the highly leveled Rohirrim we got. They were, all of them are almost level, were almost level 10. And you cannot replace them. You can only get them to level 2 without fighting. And everything else can be only obtained when you fight. So let's summon the Alvin allies. Okay, now we have lots of Rohirrim on the field. And let's go. Let's go attack. Uh, you guys use swords and take care of this Ballista. Trample. Do we have Glorious Charge ready? Yes, sir. That's very good. Hey, fireball on, on my... Don't, 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 don't attack this. Dev, hey, he's rebuilding already. Don't rebuild yet. We are not allowed to rebuild. Let's split them up a little bit. Let's send them everywhere, left and right. This way, they can, you know, deal the maximum amount of damage. Hopefully, we will be able to finally destroy this castle after multiple attempts. Maybe this is the one. Elma is taking some damage. We gotta be careful about that. Uh, you gotta take care of this pikeman, Rohirrim Arches, please. Just focus down the structures. That's all I'm asking you for. I don't want anything else. Kill the pikes. That's very good. Uh, don't don't attack. Hey, don't attack the explosive mine. Okay, now you can attack whatever you want. Okay, looks like we will be finally able to get a second castle. Where is Aragorn at? Aragorn. What should we do? Gimli. Okay, uh, I was using the aggressive, the normal stance. That's why. I was wondering why he's not attacking. Aragorn, you also need to be back. Okay, hard army has been defeated. Okay, boys, that's a good start now. I mean, not a start because we have now still six openings to to be defeated, to defeat. So it's not gonna be easier. It will still be quite hard, especially because the ballista spam is extremely annoying. So let's build double well here, double stable, just for the you know for the worst case scenario, and then we can build multiple towers just to feel a bit more safe. And we build also one postan gate behind and close the gate. That is the plan. Let them go inside. That's okay. As long as there is no explosive mine, we should be in a good spot. You can fight this. No problemo. You can come to this spot. That's good. We can use the stables now. Okay. Oh, one of them was actually getting out. But it's fine. It's perfect. And we can take care of this. Hey, Theorem, what are you doing? Kill the explosive mine, please. Please. Okay. Nice. Dope. I like it. I really do. More towers. The explosive mine spam is real. I'm so scared when I see them. Okay. Let's, we have healed enough, so it's not about wasting time. Are we still getting attacked? Look. Gimli, can you please take care of this ballista? Let's go all out, ignore the base for now, and try to destroy the second one as soon as possible. With the army of the dead and end summon, we might make something happen. Aragorn is in the meantime taking care of this. Ballistas, that's very good. Look at the ballista spam. Let's summon the EOD first. 
So we can make the AOD tank the damage because they are immune to almost every kind of damage besides magic damage. There are only few units slash heroes or abilities that can hurt them. And for example, Aragon can do that. Uh, hold on. Make it boom boom. Fast. Okay. Okay, we killed also his own thing. So glorious charge. Glorious charge. Alright. Just go inside the jeans and deal as much damage as pos possible. In the meantime, I want to also make sure to keep my heroes alive if I can. You guys can protect. We are command points kept. But it's good. That means we can not recruit any more units as we are talking. The new aggressive stance is so dope. I like that. Let's go for a cloud break. And we kind of have to take care of this siege wars before he will be even spamming more and on a, uh, more siege weapons on us. Let's kill the barista. There is an explosive mine behind, but it's okay. Oh, we lost all the Rohirrim arches, though. That's not the best thing. I mean, as long as he has no pikemen, I think we should be fine. And so far, they have not spammed too many pikemen on us. Aragorn, don't die. Summon EOD here. Get out. Give me, you my friend. You slayer. Get to this side. Okay, one of them was able to survive. That's good. Let's send him back. Yeah, just, just try to deal as much damage as pos possible. Okay, the problem is about the um, battle towers. They are great when it comes to deal with normal units. But when it comes to deal with siege weapons, they almost deal no damage to them. So, the reason why we are also focusing the bottom right army first is because I want to make sure that we are not being attacked for this castle, to this castle from behind. That's what I want to achieve by destroying this castle. As it's done for now. That's very good. Okay, so we can group them all together. And now we have three castles. That's very, very, very good. We needed that. We really, really needed that. Now we need to work our way up to the top side. And Aragon and Gimli can keep this area protected. Talk about Gimli. Can you throw our... I want to see the X throw actually damage against the Barista. It's not one-shotting, but it's okay. More Berserkers are coming. Let's build towers now here. Oh, we are, we are kind of broke. But we will get money after killing all these units. Just take care of the Baristas, Gimli. You don't need to kill anything else. Oh, look, the army here. Okay, we gotta close the gate. Just for the worst case scenario. Gimli, don't die. Spiel. And we can give them also the things. Run, Gimli. Thank you very much. Oh, multiple Sarmans. Let's summon this. Oh, the fireball. I also saw some pikemen there. Alvin Boreas, could you please kill this pikemen here? It would be very, very kind from you. Okay, be careful, don't I? Let's use heal here. Oh my goodness. Gimli, Gimli, Gimli. Hold ground stands. Aragorn. Atelas. Okay. We are doing stuff here that's very good. Let's summon the end allies. Oh my goodness. He broke. He broke inside. Look how many ballistas they got in front of the castle. Uh, we need to destroy the siege works. ESCP. I don't know, man. It doesn't look very good for us, boys. The pressure is real. Okay. Theorin, can you use Glorious Judge? Yes, sir. Let's go. You do not use it? Oh, I dismounted it. <laughs> what? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, it's, it's not even available. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, does he have pikemen? Yeah, he has pikemen. Right. Oh, my goodness. He's going ham, guys. We have lost everything around this side. I believe this castle is going to be taken down very, very soon. We need to go for a trade at least, you know. Go for a trade. Uh, he has used the freezing rain. Uh, yeah, we are. It's not. Oh, Gimli, please don't die. Aragorn, can you heal him? No, Aragorn is gonna die eventually also. Use AOD. Gimli, run. Gimli, Slayer, and run. Aragorn, use anything. Don't die. Please. The pressure is real. Aragorn, can you run? Run, 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 run. 
kill them before they can finish off Aragon. Okay, that's good. So now let's switch to the old ground stance with both of them to make sure that they are not attacking anything automatically. Looks like this castle is going to be defeated, but also this castle from us. Look how many ballistas he has. Holy moly. Okay, that's okay, I guess. I mean, could be better, could be worse. Could be much, much better, obviously. Not need more Rohirrim. We got to close the gate. Yeah, was almost able to break through it anyway. Can I repair it? There we go. Let's buy this. Stay. Close the gate. We need to reclaim this castle, boys. That is the plan and the priority. So double well, double stable, and three farms. Yeah, we are still running out of money because we need to invest so much into, you know, remaking all the units we are losing all the time. And also battle towers to keep these pieces protected. Okay, now we can switch to aggressive stance once again. Take care of these ballistas. That's what I'm asking you to do. Can I use the Alvin Wood? Yes, sir. Okay, heal up. Alright, Aragorn, don't die. We have Blade Master, yes, we have Blade Master. We have Slayer, yes, we have Slayer. More ballistas are coming also to this side and also to this side. Okay, so I believe what we need to do is first of all, we need to destroy these ballistas. That's the priority. We have healed up a little bit, that's good. More Rohirrim are required. Aragorn, don't die. Should be fine, hopefully. Kill the ballistas. Also, Ram is coming. Okay, now we need to we need to go to the side before this castle is also getting destroyed. Because the berserkers without the ballistas, they can too much. So we can just ignore them. Rohirrim. So let's kill these ballistas. I believe they break the gate anyway. And you guys can also now come to this spot. So ignore them. Ignore them all. We might look for a beautiful and juicy a glorious charge. I'm pretty stressed, by the way, guys. So sorry if I'm not able to explain what I'm doing all the time. Because lots of stuff is happening at pretty much the same time. So he, the good thing is they were not able to buy this castle. That's pretty good. And our Legolas is also alive. That's also pretty good. But the bad thing is, the Ballistas, they keep coming. They keep coming all the time. Oh, he has Pikemen there. We gotta use Cloud Break here. Build towers. Get out, get out. And close the gate. <laughs> and then just, just run it down to this castle. Just run it down to the castle. Build farms. We have no money. Gimli, don't die. Gimli, don't die, please. Okay. Let's summon the big AOD. Let's send them inside. AOD in. King, it's your turn, my friend. To make those units shine bright like a diamond. Let's summon the Elven allies also. Let's run it down. Use the units to destroy also the siege weapons. Kill this ballista, please. Please. There we go. Very good. Okay. Just finish off this siege works. Because that's gonna give us the freedom to also move a little bit forward with Aragorn and Gimli. Talking about Aragorn and Gimli, they need to now move to the spot. ASEP. ASEP. Oh, we need to destroy the siege weapons. Let's call the ant allies just to make sure that we have enough DPS when it comes to destroy them. You go 1v1 against this ballista. You guys are in melee form and take care of these ballistas. And then the siege works right after that. So I believe we should be in a kind of good spot. Aragorn, please don't die. Use your blade master. This guy is literally getting inside and destroying me. Saruman is here. Ends go revenge. The last march of the ends. The hard army has been defeated too. Okay, we should be able to defend this now with Aragorn and Gimli. Being around, let's use Slayer. Get off these. Let's kill the Balistas. Um, Legolas, are you doing good? I hope so. 
because we have no more opponents there. <laughs> Don't steal them. Oh, he, he canceled. That's good. Uh, let's kill Saruman. And Juicy. Beautiful. So now we can also buy this castle. Aragorn, the defender of this Rohan castle, should be doing a good job. And as we have captured now this one, means the one at the bottom left corner should be protected most of the time. And we can move our Legolas on this spot. And we have also now finally more access to more command points, which means we can make a greater army. Let's build a well here. Let's build towers too. Um, there is, there are pikemen, so we gotta, we gotta keep moving and close the gate. And Legolas can enter this. Are I gonna die? Are they still shooting or something? Nah, it's actually. Let's build a well here. Don't run into the pikemen, horses, please. I'm begging you. Come back to the castle. Okay. But in the meantime, holy moly. They actually broke through this one. And they have pikemen too. Oof, that's pretty rough. Aragorn, don't I? Okay, now we can fight Aragorn. Where is... Oh, we lost Gimli. We lost Gimli too. Oh, that's painful. Aragorn, you gotta kill this Ballista. That's your first task. Oh, they will destroy it, am I right? I think so. Legolas, can you protect this? Maybe it's not the best call to put you on top of the wall, Legolas, because the Ballista is gonna kill you slowly but surely. Let's summon the EOD. If we can. Okay. And Gimli, we need Gimli back on the menu. So Gimli needs to be back. Let's build double well. For the sustain. We don't need money. We need some sort of survivability, survivability, you know? We need some sort of sustain in the in the castles to keep them protected without having to rotate with the army all the time. So now we need to rotate to this, unfortunately, because this has been taken down. Aragorn, don't die. Aragorn, what, why are you taking so much damage? What is what is hurting you that much? I don't get it. Let's use Atelas. Heal, your, heal yourself up. The towers will help you, Aragorn, to defend. Okay, so kill this. They might also attack now the bottom right castle. Aragorn is... I'm gonna put you in the, in the old ground stands for now, until Gimli comes. Ignore them all. Beside the Ballista, the Ballista cannot be ignored. We lost the... Lel. Oh my goodness. Can I summon something to save this? I don't think so. I'm gonna summon this anyway. Oh, the fireball from Saruman. He's level 6 now. Alright. Did they buy this one? That's the one million dollar question. I hope they didn't. Looks like they, they didn't, right? Nope, they didn't. So I'm gonna just rotate to this army. To this... At the top right side. This is gonna go down slowly but surely. We've also lost Legolas now. Kill all your all the ballistas on your way. The pressure though. The pressure is real. Gimli, come back. Come back, Gimli. And the siege now has begun on this spot. Oh boy. Let's build a post gate here. Theorin, use a glorious charge. At least kill the siege wards. It's bare minimum. That's all I'm asking you for. Aragorn, you need to fight now, my friend. You can't let them take down the castle when you are in the castle. Don't I? Let's use heal. For a, we missed Elma. It's not the best thing in the world. Just kill the Citadel. Gimli is also on the menu now. That's very good. Gimli, can you take care of these ballistas? And Aragorn, you take care of this ballista. Just take care of the structures exclusively. Let's get them all the upgrades too. Let's use... AOD here. I'm, 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 just, I'm just gonna summon the um, ends, but I wanna summon the AOD. This way I can make sure that we have the units which we need to be able to take it down. Okay, just focus on the structures, please. That's all you have to do. And you guys need to group now with the main army very, very soon. So we have only normal Rohirrim, no Rohirrim arches, because most of the time, I mean, there are some exceptions to the rule, but most of the time, they actually have, like, normal Uruks, crosswomen, or mainly ballistas and siege weapons, and heroes like Saruman and Lourdes. They have not this many pikemen. Oh, boy. They go inside the jeans, boys. No. No. What killed Aragorn? What are we waiting for? Never shall they return. 
Oh boy. Um, let's summon the ends kind of defensively. Gimli, don't die. Just kill the buddy stars, Gimli. You guys, kill also the buddy stars, please. Like one million buddy stars only. You love to see it. Let's keep moving. Gimli, you peel back. I don't want you to lose. I don't want to lose you, I mean. Because I cannot afford... Did they buy this? Oh, yeah, they bought it. But it's pretty painful, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Did they buy this one as well? Let me check. Nope, this one is not purchased yet. When the Elven Wood is usable, you can see and tell that it's, you know, under control from somebody. But when it's not usable like that, you know it's uh, actually bought from somebody. So Gimli, don't die. Kill the Ballista's ends. That's what you are getting paid for. So let's close the gate. I don't want to lose just the castle I was investing 5,000 into. And try to do something here, Rohirrim, Rohirrim, please. Maybe we can destroy it right off the bat. Because he's spamming once again siege wargs on us. Oh my god, goodness. We are riding it down into the pikemen. Oh, that's painful. Okay, so Bill. Gimli, I see you at the bottom side. I don't know why you refuse to not listen to me. Here we can fight. Jump. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Aragorn is back on the menu, though. <laughs> Let's summon the AOD. Revive. Revive Gimli. Kill the Palista. The pikes are following us. Okay, we need to micro around them and summon now the Elven allies. With the Elven allies, we can eventually kill them, hopefully. And we need to take care of these Ballistas. We cannot ignore them, guys. They are they are just dealing too much damage to air anything we have. Like, everything we have. Kill the pikemen. Can I heal you guys? Uh, the answer is yep. Let's heal them all. And did we destroy this castle? The answer is nope. We didn't destroy this castle. But we might be able to destroy it now. Hopefully. Uh, kill this Ballista first. The gate is closed, right? Okay, we have also peasants now. It's very good. I give you also weapons, guys. Just fight. I don't mind. I wanna get it's like I wanna win this. Um Glorious Charge. We have no summons, but the bare minimum what we're gonna do here is to kill the switch works. That's the bare minimum. Hopefully, even the the Orphan itself, eventually if we can. Okay, we killed the siege works, that's very good. Surround that and destroy the Orphan if you can. That's gonna buy us at least some time from this area. We have destroyed also this one. That's very good for us. Uh, Aragorn is still alive. Oh, maybe it's not. It's not. Just kill back now. Just kill back now. Okay, you win, you win, you win. Did they purchase this in the meantime? I hope not. We gotta bail to the wells. You guys go to the spot. Okay, we need to fight this a little bit, actually, when I think about it. The Vault Riders are stunned now. That's good. We have also managed to save one of the level 9 Rohirrim. We can fight this. A little bit, at least. And eventually buy this castle. I just wanted to buy some time so the peasants can arrive here. And I can close the gate. Right off the bat. Because I will move on to the bottom right castle. Because of the well. The Citadel is gone. Which one? Oh my goodness. Uh, guys, we need more peasants to defend this. Holy moly, boys. The pressure is crazy and it is real. Aragorn, don't die. Gimli is also on the field. It's good. Okay. So we need to defend this. How long for your peasants? For you peasants. The things are getting one-shotted. I need to play cat and mouse with him. Attack this, please. Okay. <laughs> that will do it. Attack this. Yeah, yeah. You fool. I fool with you, my friend. Okay. Kill it, kill it, please. Why is it so tanky? Okay, that's good. So we have recovered a little bit. That's very good. Come all together here. And uh, let's build a post and gate so we can get out. In the worst case scenario, we need to replace all the stuff we have lost. And you peasants will defend this until then. We can summon the EOD with Aragorn if he wants to fight. We can allow that. No problemo. 
did they actually buy this big yeah they bought this once again dude that's that's very annoying it's really really annoying it is too much for me it is too much for you i got you no problem oh there is there comes the balrog boys aragon run please please run please run i don't want you to do i don't want to lose you one more time you are very expensive to be revived um we cannot build anything because the city is not up on the field yet. Okay, here we might be able to build some towers eventually. And peasants, can you fight this? Defend your castle? Good. Okay, so now let's focus on the one in the middle. Oh, he's coming. But, you know, he's wasting lots of time. I want to actually see that. I want to see Aragorn. Uh, not Aragorn. Aragorn also. Let's see. Aragorn and Gimli. Slayer plus Bleedmaster. Two Balrogs, guys. Two Balrogs at the same time. Look at this. Balrog. I mean, not Balrog. Uh, Gimli and Aragorn, they are actually dealing so much damage to the Balrog. Do your thing. EOD, kill the Saruman, please. Aragorn, don't die to Balrog. Guys, just let him do whatever he wants. He's, he has not much time left, left anymore. So, just don't die. Aragorn, don't die. Oh, he got crippled. Land deal. Oh, Lourdes is gonna take him down, right? Oh, yeah, Lourdes. Please revenge your friend. What is this level from Lourdes? He almost level 10. Holy moly. This, this Lourdes was scary, man. He almost killed Kimli, too. Okay. Also, this army in the middle has been defeated, right? Yes, that's very good. Guys, please don't die. You are level 10. Okay. Do we have any other army? The answer is nope. We don't have an army, but we can actually replace all this stuff we have lost in this castle. Okay. So we have also peasants here, which is pretty good. Let's buy this castle as well. Let's summon the elven allies and let's ride out and meet them. For death and glory? Nope. For Rohan, for our people. So we will ignore everything and we will move on to the top left spot. The thing is that the top left, Isengard, has two castles. So, if, you know, destroying one of the castles is not going to defeat him. We will have to also destroy the castle which once again here in the middle on the left side. Okay, so... Hold on a second. We have also a peasant army, right? So the peasant army can rotate in the meantime to this spot. Trample them down, no problem. Oh, no, oh this baristas. No, Throw on spear king. on this barista. No, very good, Elma. I'm very proud of you. Let this be the hour. Focus down. The last march of the ends. Okay. And you guys, in the meantime, you try to defend maybe this area. You guys rotate to this spot. The ends are burning. This is cloud break to actually make it bright like a diamond. And you guys also, in the meantime, try to destroy or take care of this castle. So we can do that like pretty much at the very same time. And please let me know in the comment section down below. It feels much, much harder. Am I right? We have seen really a lot of action from the minute number one. Uh, Elma, where are you? I will heal you, my friend. Don't worry. Okay. You guys, just focus down the structures. There comes the Rohan army. Let's use the veg formation for a great amount of damage. Theodin, King, don't die. King Theodin, he's going to die to level 3 furnaces. Trust me. Just kill the furnace to save your king, maybe. Huh? Yes, use the freezing rain anyway, so we have right now zero leadership. Okay, so... No problem. Let this be the hour. Just focus on the buildings. That's all I'm asking you for. Okay. Dope, dope, dope. The peasants are coming too. You gotta avoid the pikemen. That's really all about it. And capture the castle. It was quite tough. We have also now the monster trio moving on. Just support this army too. Monster trio. Let's close the gate maybe if we can and build 
battle tower so we can take care of the pikes if they just get inside but they couldn't so it's it's fine it's even better because now we can just trample them down and that's it okay so money wise we should not have any problemos because we have like in total one two three four five six castles out of eight available or seven actually we have seven right so we have actually yeah seven castles that's a lot <laughs> there was a peasant army boys peasant army is moving and just build a post and get here and join them you must join with them the orfang has fallen legolas is actually taking care of many many pikemen in the meantime um i would like to use one more time a beautiful and juicy glorious charge for the victorious moment it was a really tough game i was sweating quite a lot in this one i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please don't forget to leave a like and also let me let me know in the comment section down below if you want to have any other challenges in a 1v7 situation on the patch 2.22 which you can also download from the link in the description down below 2.22 uh, gives you the option to actually have an improved campaign very soon as well for now the ai is more improved stronger and uh, you have the widescreen resolution you have higher zoom for the campaign for the skirmish for the multiplayer games and the new launcher will also give you the chance to actually play the game online via game ranger or t3a anyways let's group them all together in the middle let's heal them up a little bit first and now for death and glory slayer let's summon the aod and awaken army of the dead heart army has been defeated so in total we have defeated seven heart isengards but you can see the money they had they had 170,000. the last one we have just defeated which is a lot we have obviously more money because we will we were getting a lot of money from elma's uh, passive you know leadership which means money for every kill on the enemy units and we have killed in total 5600 plus units in this game which means you know even if you get like uh, three four and the money you get always depends on the unit you kill and if you kill heroes or berserkers or any really strong and expensive unit you will get even more money so in total i would say we got potentially a lot from this thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time until then keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards peace out